All economic textbooks define money as a standard of value, a medium of exchange, a store of value. This is not what money is. That is what money does. These are the functions of money. My definition, my working definition of money is, money is an agreement within a community to use something standardized as a medium of exchange. So, as soon as a community can agree on using some unit, some whatever, it can be matches and game playing at night with cards, it can be cigarettes in World War II on the front, it can be whatever you agree on that you can use as a medium of exchange between you. Now, the role of government is to give a value to a currency by requiring that particular currency to be paid in taxes. The current monetary system creates money out of nothing, called fiat money in Latin, uh, to de describe the power of creation of money out of nothing. And it is given value to it by requiring that this particular currency is used in payment of taxes. And today that is euros by European governments, it's uh, pounds in the UK government, it's dollars in the US economy. So we can define it differently and as soon as the government would accept it, you would actually have a mainstream currency that everybody would accept. That is one of the options, that's the only role that we really request the government to play. Choose the, which units are acceptable for contributions to the common good. So the government has the power and the people have the power to start one. And if the two work together, you will have an enormous success. If only the people work, you will still have an operational system. But it will not reach the same level of importance as what is today the national currencies. I hope this helps.